All right, I think we have come very far on some of the things here. And we will come back later on for the comments uh, when we make the comments section. But right now, uh, I want to see how things look, right? We want to go ahead and let's first, let's go to add post and let's create one post here. And I'm going to go online actually. And I'm going to go to Loring Ibsen. And I'm going to get some some information out of here, some dummy tets. And I, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to show you, but you can easily write some dummy tets in your tets editor. I'll show you in a minute, but right now we're going to get some dummy tets for this right here. So, right there. All right. So, post title would be something like uh, best, best. PHP course ever, right? And the category, of course, we need to display that information here so that way we can add it. So that's one of the things that we need to add. But right now we're just going to say category 40 or something like that. We might get an error since we can't display that on the other side. Let's just say Edwin Diaz, post status draft. I just want to check something out before we go ahead and continue. I wanted to check how things look outside on the blog section, all right? So that's what we're going to be doing. PHP and best, something like that. Publish. Let's look. go to the site. Let's look at it. And as you can see here, we do have some posts showing already. We have the title here, which doesn't go anywhere. We're going to make that go somewhere. But that's going to be after we finish all this administration in the back. We're going to be adding some of these features. All right. The most important thing is getting that CRUD ready. Create, read, update, and delete ready on the CMS. Once we get that ready, then we start adding little features like clicking on the titles, going to that specific post. Uh, showing the comments, uh, those nice graphs that I show you in the beginning, um, get, like going to a profile when you click on certain things. I mean, those things are extra features, and we're gonna be adding them. We get, we need to also uh, truncate this, make it smaller, because we don't want to show all the content right here, right? As a matter of fact, we can do that right now. Um, let's go ahead and do that. As a matter of fact. Actually, we will do that in the next video. Right now, I want to worry about something else right here. So, we see that on the post section right here, on the add post, we have this category here. Let's make this display the category title here, so that way we can submit it with it, right? We, we can't submit it. We can't see it here when we edit it. That's fine. We can see it, but we need to add that same functionality on the other side when we add it. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, what we need to do is copy basically what we got there, right? So I think we have it here on the edit. And right here, right? We select the categories. We have a selection right here. Let's copy this whole thing even with a form group. That would be nice, right? If we can get all this functionality working there on the view all post page. All right, so we have that in categories out oh, that this is not a view of page we need to get it on the index let's go to the index of the website and what we got on the index we are displaying all this information here hold on no I, I thought we were doing this the truncating we're not doing that all right we're not doing that we are fixing let's go to admin we're fixing this ad post so we need to go to the ad post page sorry about that Let's go to that. And we got that in the includes in admin folder and in includes we got the add post. All right. And we have it right here. So we are going to be pasting that right there with that whole diff. You saw that? I'm gonna do undo. We have this this phone group already selected and we just paste it there. All right. So now Right here, this post category needs to go in there. When we check it right here, create post, we need to find it right here somewhere. Post category right here. 
take that out and that's all I'm gonna take out I'm gonna leave this the same all right so that field that value is gonna go in there let's make sure the value is fine we got a cat ID here do we have the cat we displaying the categories here we're not displaying the category so we got to be careful with that so what value are we going to be sending to for this if we don't have the category we need to to get that let me see cat title actually we have it right here sorry guys cat title all right we're going to send it with that and we need to send it in the insert so in the insert we need to change that category title values let's get to the post comment count right here so actually that the whole thing is come is going in there that's perfect we, we we're good we're good actually we don't need to do anything all right so let's check it out perfect let's make a new post how about that all right so example post number 1000 because we made like 1000 posts already let's do it in Java and let's say the name of the author is James and post status is draft let's say publish why why draft let's just make this publish right here we have all those keywords right here post image let's just make another great image what about how about my name right there nice right and post tags Edwin Diaz and content some content from Edwin Diaz in big bold letters so you don't have to write that by the way publish let's look at it on the front refresh and we got it right here see that perfect and let's see in the back to see if we got the categories too let's go back to the back of the website admin right here let's check it out view post and we have the Java category let's go and update that and change it to something else to procedural actually to example category let's change the image here and draft remember the example post number 1000 update come back here and example category right there we updated that and we updated the category let's make another one last post and that's it um, example post 200 let's put OOP object oriental programming really cool subject we probably we're gonna be touching on that or maybe the next course that I make we're gonna be doing something totally in object oriented programming which is cool All right so the post author would be maybe a meet and post status would be publish all right and let's just say bootstrap I'm just I just don't have any more pictures guys all right so if you I might get some more pictures but this is just placeholders all right this is a OOP course with 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 bootstrap all right update all right that send it in and perfect look at that OOP we are in we are worth a lot right now my friend so if you were able if you are able to do this right now and you are working in a job related to web development they should raise your salary if you're not working you should be able to find a job very easily in web development at least entry level if you got this far and you know how to do this if you don't know how to do this do it a thousand times until you get it right all right be motivated because this is big time you're building a CMS right now so keep that in mind we even got the date we got everything here right we're gonna be continuing our lecture in the next on the next uh, video and hopefully you are feeling good about yourself alright thank you so much and see you in the next one